Okay, yeah, we are going this way. It's easy to get turned around here. I mean, if you're gonna give me this kind of setup, I'm gonna take advantage of it. Anything up here to worry about? Nope. The drill's control system. Mega Man pressed the control switch. The drill slowed down. Okay, we've activated one of the control switches. Any better decks? The drill slowed down a bit, but we're still in big trouble. Don't worry, Dex. Mail, Yai, we'll get through this. Mega Man, jack out. Roger, jack me into the next control box. You bet. So, on to part two. So, once again, pretty much more the same. little kind of side areas on the conveyor belts that you can go to if you just need to take a break for a moment, or if a particularly strong rock is coming through. You have options. I was hoping you'd get a bit closer than that. Charge plus one Navicast program. Yes, please. So, something to talk about here. The wording was a little bit weird with the tutorial. When it talks about the textured programs can't be above the command line, it doesn't mean literally positioning them up here above the command line. It means it can't be here to where we placed it on top of the command line. So, there we go. Our charge is a bit faster now. They do love this kind of setup. Let's see here. Good enough. A thousand zennies. Feed me money. So yeah, just proof of concept. They don't care. That works. We saw some green mystery data up here. Quick 1k. We'll go in this. Let's 
So yeah, I can power up the charge shot a bit faster now, and that helps. Stop it with the darker rocks. And we get, well, Rock Cube Asterisk. Guess that makes sense for it to be here. Safety first. Guard one asterisk. Not bad. So this is a bit trickier. Overkill? Sure. But it's satisfying. Stopping the drill. Mega Man pressed the control switch. The drill slowed down. Okay, we've activated another control switch. Are you okay, Dex? We're dancing for dear life. But we won't hold out for long. Just a little more, guys. Mega Man, jack out. Roger. Jack me into the next control box. Let's move it. And so onward to part three. So, Drill Comp 3. This one's a bit more spread out and convoluted. It's easy to get turned around here. And speaking of getting turned around, you also have to do a little bit of backtracking here. If you know where you're going and what you're doing, it's easy to mitigate most of it. It's just kind of one of those, be sure you go this way before you go that way sort of situations. And we also got a guard one asterisk. Well, this takes care of most of it. Okay. Next, we need to make it all the way to the end of this conveyor belt so that we can get this rock out of the way. They want to make it problematic, of course, and a virus right at the entrance. Not too bad. get a Navicus program for HP plus 100. I mean, may as well. It's a bit chunky, though. So, let's get these out of the way. So there is something important to note about HP plus parts. They raise your max HP, but they don't refill them as long as you're still on the net somewhere. So you can't use this to, like, cheat death or anything like that. We also have a new virus, Batty. Come to think of it, in this recording session, did I actually get to show what Guardian really does? I think I've only really gotten to show it failing. Yeah, I think the successful display of it was during a failed take that I didn't keep. So, I mean, we'll demonstrate it anyway. We'll have Batty hit it. 
punishment. So yes, that's what it does when it works properly. And we also got Pulsar 1T, not bad. So yeah, as you can see, baddie viruses, they just fire sonic pulses forward, and if they hit an obstacle, they spread. Couldn't possibly be hinting at anything, certainly not. Now it's tempting to go this way, there's a boulder in the way. That seems like it's blocking your progress. Well, it is, and it isn't. Go this way first. But yeah, Guardian is a good chip, it just doesn't really mesh well with the way I like to play. Depending on how you use it, it could be considered more a counter or a trap type chip, and those just aren't really play styles I tend to prefer using myself. They are good chips though, more power to you if you enjoy using them. It definitely gets the job done. Cactus! So yeah, you can get a, a few good bounces off of that thing. Cact Ball is just really fun. The Rock Feed unit is broken. You cannot go this way. What? You want to go this way anyway? And then you'll have to deactivate the Rock Feed unit. To turn the Rock Supply off, use the control lever next to the conveyor belt. This is the key to the off switch. Go ahead, it's yours. So we get stop key. You cannot get to the off switch from here. Take the long route around the right side. So, yeah, in practice, this wasn't marked on the map at all, so I had to do quite a bit of backtracking, because if you get to the console without the key, you have to come back for it. And we get a full energy subchip. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll just go with this. Thought I was fully charged, but not quite. So, time once again to dodge between the boulders. And we get... Fire hit one... Oh. Is that the one I'm missing? It is. That's a new code. Reorder things here. So, yeah, that's another potential program advance. Sooner or later the chips for one of these will actually come up. Oh, don't stop me right there. That's just rude. Hmm. Technically, I could time this just right. Nope, Batty's up in the air. That was a good plan, but didn't quite work out. But hey, we got a full synchro charge out of this. Let me off the ride. This system stops the rock conveyor. Use the stop key. The rock conveyor stopped. So, no more rocks on that conveyor belt. They're still going here, though. And this is actually our ticket out of here. Yeah, it's a bit faster just to go ahead and go to the end. Aye! And we're pretty much right where we need to be. Viruses notwithstanding. Guardian double? Well, that's just overkill but I'll take it. As you can see, it can also go through Metguard, so that's something. So,
So the way is clear now. Aside from viruses. Just had to get the last word in, didn't you? That didn't quite work out the way I hoped it would. Let's make a snow bat. My favorite December wing tradition. Stopping the drill. Mega Man pressed the control switch. The drill slowed down. Okay, we've activated another control switch. Lan, you know there's another. You don't need to keep calling them. Any better decks? The drill slowed down quite a bit, but I can see cracks running across the ceiling. We'll be buried in rubble in no time. Mega Man, Jack out! We've got to stop the drill before our friends are hurt. Roger, Jack me into the last control box. Let's do it. So, time for part four. So, Drill Comp 4. It's surprisingly a bit more straightforward than the last part, but you do still have situations like this that can be a bit tricky to get through. Just punch your way through as best you can. Okay, so we have a baddie over there. We need to be a bit cautious about that. At least if I stay here, I'm out of range. Also, yeah, as you can see, we are up to 460 HP as opposed to 360, so now that we've been off the net, it has filled us up to our max. HP memory. Always good to find those. Okay, Bug Tank EX. And you have an area grab. But I have a snowman. Ah, you're off the panel, aren't you? Yep. Oh well. Got rid of the worst threat, at least. I mean, as long as I still have two columns to work with, it's fine. Except I can't get close enough to punch you. That's a bit of a bummer. I do love those setups where you have to quickly run between the boulders. 650 zennies. I don't quite know why I ordered things the way I did there. There are more efficient ways to do that, certainly. But we got through it, and that's what matters. 500 zennies.
Longsword S. Yes, please. That is going in the folder. Yeah, we'll get rid of one of the normal swords for that, I think. Make sure that that bat doesn't cause any problems. This system stops the rock conveyor. So yeah, thankfully you don't have to go hunting down another stop key. So now we can go this way. 